Hello, 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 Sucrose here. Back to play, this time, Super Skelemania. Um, I picked this up on the Steam Summer Sale. I believe that it is a uh, really short Metroidvania. Hopefully, hopefully not too hard. Something kind of chill and relaxing. Uh, um, so I have to say, if, if I could just, you know, will games into existence, I wish there were more Metroidvanias. Um, really more, more Metroids as, <clears throat> um, I'm a much bigger fan of the Metroid part of the Metroidvania. I, I mean, you know, we're playing Castlevania three, and the, uh, here on the screen we have it, and uh, I played through Symphony of Night, and I, I have to admit, I really like the second Castlevania, which was a bit of an RPG, but. Uh, wasn't really a fan of Symphony of the Night. I feel like people call it a Metroidvania. It's just a Castlevania game. I don't know. But that's just me. Anyway, so yeah, this game, I don't know anything about. I think I think one dude made it. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know. So let's play it. Looks like we are ready to go. So I'm going to pull up <clears throat> um, kind of a weird noise. It looks like you've got a left to right spell bot. I mean, skull bot. Fall through. That's pretty much it. Uh, only the two buttons seem to do it. <clears throat> this looks like a plant. So you've got an elevator. And a plant. Uh oh. Can't get out there. Break the blocks. So, I just adored Metroid first one, as a kid. Um, just loved it. It was something magical. And it really wasn't until I was an adult. <clears throat> that I actually played Super Metroid. And that Super Metroid is probably one of the best games of all time, I, I would say. Uh, not even with nostalgia glasses. Just straight up good. And uh, one of my other favorite games is La Milana, which I would argue is a Metroid band. Um, although it's definitely got A lot of puzzling. Looks like power up. The Sanctum Map. Okay, so we're the flashing cursor, which is 
kind of nice. Um, <clears throat> like the cave story, although that's also a bit more Castlevania y. Not so many upgrades. The story game that came out recently, I think it came out the second one. Pretty good. So we've got a. Ooh, no. right, start opens the door. I mean, start opens the map. So we can either go through the door, let's just take it, see where it goes. Whoa. So we have no map. Uh, I have no map for this place. Let's keep exploring this. Well. Um, another game that I would, you know, recommend to everybody play, I mentioned last game, which is, uh, a game by the makers of, uh, Celeste, called An Untitled Story. Just a beautiful game. I mean, I think, I, I like platforming. Can you hold on to these? Can't seem to hold on to the the vine, so I don't want to jump across. Um, I like platforming. I like exploring, and I like upgrades. Hey, map yet? Yeah. Not a whole lot of exploring. Okay. So it looks like we need to to get the question mark, I think, to go bottom left and then up the bottom left. Maybe. <clears throat> so it looks like we're going to be getting some kind of ability either to double jump or to kill us. Well, it knocks him out. Not bad music. From the screenshots in Steam, I'm pretty sure this game has bosses. I think this is the save. Headbutt the bell to save. Headbutt it with X. <clears throat> Hold up while headbutting for more reach. Okay. So we can save. That's good. Um. Oh. Pretty simple so far. Straightforward. or anything, but we'll probably knock into these walls a bit. What do we got? This is our first real power-up. Well, airborne. Press A. Okay. Oh. So... Can't cancel it, which is kind of interesting. At least I don't think so. As far as I can tell, once you've dove, that's it. That's all she wrote.
so <clears throat> it doesn't really feel too too power powerful. Uh, let's just try one more time. There we go. So you can you can dash from screen to screen. Can you go up? Let's go down. Uh, oh, this is where we started, right? Oh, but now we can get to the right. Cool. So we've uh, we've unlocked this area essentially. That looks like something bad on the ground. Okay. Delayed teeth thing. So again, we can go down. Don't actually don't think we can go up. Uh, it appears that if you bump into something horizontally and you fall, you can can no longer go horizontal. Thing, the uh, the dash. Uh, probably want to take the top route if we can. Oh, we can. Yeah. This doesn't look very good. I mean, I could go. I don't know what spikes will do. Uh, we just saved though, so. That was a bad idea. Uh, but now we know. Now the spikes work. Those things in the top left are our hit points. these platforms. Aha. Uh -huh. But you jump off quickly. Okay. Sounds good. Good shell so far. Okay. Get into this. Uh, I want to say this was like... Shit. I want to say this was like two bucks. Got a new zone. So before we oh shit, before we go in there, let's see. If we can... Don't think we can do it. Well, um, come on. So no map. Here's our first real enemies. They don't chase us, but they shoot at us. Oops. But the, uh... Ooh, did you see that little move? No, that's not a part. It's a, it's a little bit wonky. But you can jump out and dash. I'm not sure what I did. I think I just jumped out and dashed to the right. But... Uh, just gonna... Okay, no fall damage, maybe. 
Maybe something in the dirt here to the left. Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe we can. So we picked up health, and in order to get it, we had to bonk it. Um, which I have to say is kind of cool. It means that you can't really pick it up in the middle of the fight unless you're willing to risk uh, trying to bonk it. Uh, I like it. I in this game that came out recently. Uh, about the insects. Hollow. Can't remember. Uh, but another Metro Band. Absolutely fantastic. And they had a healing mechanism where you, you could heal, but it would uh, basically make you sit there for a few seconds. And uh, I think it worked really well. Hala Knight. Very good. Seems like you can't shoot down. have a map for this area. Um, I think we can legit go left and we can legit go up. Grappling <sighs> hook. It's, a, it's another new. While grounded, press B. Oh, it's just it's just a higher jump. So you've got jump and a big jump, maybe. I think it's just a big jump. It's kind of. The controls, I have to admit, are a little bit wonky because you've got two jumps, one of which, which run different keys, one of which is a glide if you do it in the air. So it's kind of dive does not hurt anybody. Oh, it rolls. Uh, it rolls around. So, oh, um, <clears throat> I believe we, believe we essentially got high jump. Yeah. Oh shit. Uh, you can do it at an angle, but if you do it in the air, you can't attack on the wall. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make this move, huh? I don't think we can make that jump. Actually, maybe we can. It's, it's, uh, it's trough. I don't think... I, I don't know, maybe we can, but I don't think we can. Uh, 
Um, if we can, it's kind of for snake. So. I think we saved here and climbed up here. Oh no! Can't do the long, the long jump off this thing, but you can do the short jump. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. It's at a really awkward height because you're not safe, <clears throat> but you can't bonk his rock. So I'm just trying to jump without clipping that thing. So you can make that. Makes me wonder if I can... Should we go back and try the other jump? I feel like the other jump is very similar. So let's go take another look. It's just, uh... A slightly more stressful situation. It looks pretty similar to me. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we tried, and we're rewarded for it. That's an extra hit point. Very nice. I like how adventuring rewards you and, and makes the combat easier. I'm just gonna. Wait, where's the the bell? Not here. Wait, what hurt? Oh. I don't recognize this. So. Don't hit the here. Oops. Okay, that's a new a new door that we can get to. Oh, another area. So dark and icy. It's not slippery. <laughs> There's no death animation or anything, just uh, sp oh, spikes. Okay, spikes. I like, uh, I like when these games reward you for exploring ahead, basically, sequence breaking kind of stuff. Let's actually, we can't. Yeah, so we're gonna. <clears throat> I think we're gonna find something that lets us go on slide, probably. Seems like uh, this, this game's power ups are mostly moves. 
I bounced to the left, but uh, physics isn't really working. I think we're supposed to jump off and glide. I think we can make it, it's just close. Looks like we're going to find something to break those blocks. We've seen them in a few places. Let's take the door. And at some point, I, so I think it's a show of shit. I think it's a relatively short game. Um, so we probably won't need to make a mat, but that could be a possibility. Uh, we have a map for this area. Oh, look. Oh, it does not pause when you go to the map. So we're just supposed to go up and left. Let's get that question up. If we can. Let's do a jump and a slide. It's a little, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit janky, but it's not too bad. I think I need to do... It's a little bit long. Oh, those are spikes. Oh, oh, oh. All of those are spikes. Okay. We have... Um, taken a bit of damage. Digging the music though. <clears throat> kind of sounds a little Donkey Kong. Uh, donkey Kong. Um, what's that game? Can't kill them. Um, donkey Kong Country, is that the name? So, there's a door to the top left. To save below us. And uh, I want to get that power up. Let's hit save first. Yeah, okay, we'll come back for the door, I think. Okay. Whoa. Kind of, uh, kind of brute force that one. <coughs> but okay. 
bet this will let us break bricks. Okay, so dash, that makes sense. I'll walk and hold trigger. Cool. So I kind of like... It's kind of a neat little... Uh, riff on Metroidvanias where all the moves, I mean all the power-ups are moves. Oh. You know, this didn't have to be a, a dash, this could have been a, a blaster or a drill or something. But. Uh, so it looks like there's another power-up south. What? Let's figure we should just chase it. Uh, there's also, so if we go left and then up, there's a save on the way down, so let's try that. <clears throat> Actually, we can't go up. I don't think. Oh, actually. It's just fine. So, this area looks familiar. I think this was our first save point. Yeah. Alright, so uh, follow the down to the right. feels pretty nice. I mean, I feel like the buttons could be combined or something. I don't know why there's two jump buttons, but otherwise it feels pretty good. Alright, so this is new. So we essentially want to go down to the left. what to expect here. Um, I just remembered the name of that game, Ori and the Blind Forest. I quite like that. I wasn't a fan of the boss sequences, kind of, you know what I mean. And the game was actually a bit linear. But boy, did it feel fun, feel good, you know. Alright, we can make this jump. So it's possible that we... Actually, it's not possible that we cannot, because look, it's the same jump on this side. So we have to be able to make this jump, just not uh, doing it right. It's really fiddly. I'll try pressing it quicker. Try pressing it later. Or this is, uh, if we weren't a skeleton, I'd say this is where we die. But <laughs> I wonder, wonder if it has something to do with the dash. Whether we should like dash to it. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. So uh, the dashing somehow does something to your momentum. 
Or, yeah, it makes you. It has a higher speed. Okay. Cool. Um, I like little areas that are small enough that you know you have to figure something out, which makes you experiment. Um, they make for fantastic little puzzles. So maybe these are the goals. We have to ring the gong in each in each section. Um, but yeah, if you think about a, like an adventure game, like Sierra. They put in like a single room or even a cupboard or something, something where there's just so few options. It makes for an interesting puzzle. Whoa! Well. That, uh, that almost worked. Got a door. I think this is a completely new area. Oh, it's the it's the starting area. So there's a power up sort of below us. have a lot of life. Well, that dive is something. You cannot stop once you're going. Oops. I think we need a dive. A dash. Oh. Okay, then a high jump. Kind of cool, chaining abilities together. <clears throat> I keep pulling up, and maybe I should just go with it. Like I said, it's a little bit fiddly. The fact that you can't stop uh, gliding in the air. All right, so we'll, there we go. So there's some kind of power up. Looks like, I, I don't know. I have no idea what that, what that looks like. Looks like something in a block. Bowl. Oh, it turned into a, well, that's pretty adorable. Oh, you can jump. So I want to say that uh, you can jump, but you keep going. You can't stop unless you hit something is an interesting, you know, problem. All right, so up and to the right, there's a save point.
Correct. Okay. I guess we'll just keep going up. So I think this is where it's teaching you about what I just said. You've got to jump just to stop yourself. It's, it's not as generic as I thought this was going to be. This, uh, this is pretty cute. It's probably just a jump and glide. Okay. Um, now, there, there's no intro. No idea why the skeleton is on this planet. Maybe this will be a little bit of story here. Or... Just turn on the lights. Okay. Well, at least we have, at least we have power. So, yep, definitely no way to stop. Can't go nothing to the left, so we'll go up here. I have to have to say I like the fact that they give us a map. And it seems to be you know, we wouldn't need anything more. Some games they'll give you a map and it's like it's it's not enough. You have to make your own anyway. So, so top left is where we wanna go. Maybe a Ash jump glide. Yeah, I'm liking these moves. So it says there's something here about it. A. What? That's it? What is that? What is that? Um, a. Or is it going to be some some place we have to to go? And that's that's where we go first. And then these, I feel like I should break them. Uh, I think what I'll do is screenshot, and then I can put them up if there, if there's some kind of uh, anything interesting, like a puzzle, we can put them up on the screen. So, up to this will work. Do, 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 do. A and M. Alright, so, we've got B and M. Let's go ahead and save. Just so I don't mess it up. Okay. So hopefully we'll find the A again and we'll screenshot that. And I bet that there are more. Let me go up, I don't think. Let's go grab the A just to make sure.
And the colors probably tell us what area they're in. What uh, zone? When I run the screen shapes, but it kind of looks gnarly. Okay, so this is N N. So, my guess is that the skeleton uh, died in Nam. Uh, because this platform's here, I can't turn into a skull, so it's a, it's a one-way head kind of thing. It's kind of cute. But yeah, the different colors... Wait, if they're one way. Then how the hell do we get to these other things? So it could be that there aren't any more, but <clears throat> obviously that one-way rolly hit leap comes from somewhere. I don't think uh, it's like a trick. And there's... Actually, what if we just time it? Time it really well. Like, if I time it so that I just land on the lip... That's kind of tricky. That's kind of tricky. Uh... Alright. A... Ah... You... Man you... Uh, manual? So yeah, all different colors. Um, all different colors. There's a room below us. which I do not appear to have access to. And I think I think that's all we can do from here. Like it's just three. It's just these three bookcases. Either there's no way to to get it you know, to come back. Oh look! So the, so where that question mark on the right is matches where the gray M is. So, I think we should try to get it. Can go up, but I'm going to... Go down. Oh, this is where we got our first power up. Is the gongs. So okay. 
Okay. I think we got the red one too, actually. Um, so the only two colors left are purple and tan. see what this, uh, this this place in the top right is. Maybe this is just where it came from, but I don't think so. I, I don't know. I'm <clears throat> Path directions. Yeah, I don't remember this. We didn't save until further. There's some kind of like translucent enemy. He very rarely shows himself. Whoa. Bad hitboxes. So the good news is, well, it's two, two good news is, I think this is supposed to be the, the yellow. Okay. I think this is supposed to be the yellow region. Uh, and there's the map, so. I didn't expect them to, uh, to be able to levitate. Um, I guess they are. Oh, okay. Kind of creative enemies. Yeah, I guess they're all some kind of ghost maybe. Ancient. Oh, oh boy. Well, the map, the map is blue, so I guess we have to go with that color, and uh, we don't have a blue. Looks like we want to get to the top, which makes sense a little bit. And wizards and warriors here. So if you push that button, a lot of life, that's good. Uh, if you push that button, in the air he turns into a dive, and just everything goes to hell. Maybe... Maybe a dash and a block. Okay, that's that's it. <clears throat> Can't stop your glide. 
Actually, can you... Okay. You might be able to jump out of the glide, I don't know. Dudes who are coming and going and just seem to be minding their own business. Cool. About three quarters of the way. It's a, it's a real shame you can't control the, the glide. So what do I want to do then? I, I, maybe, oh shit, get a running start here and do a jump to that with me so that I have momentum. Might have been more complicated than I think it's to be, but I don't really care. So we're at the top. So we got got this one. Um I'm just gonna write down we got blue. Top tree in case we need to, because the letters make me think that maybe there's some kind of a puzzle in addition to, to just hitting the gongs. So we're back on the surface. Can't seem to get up. Back here to this little, this little thing. I don't think we can do anything there. But... So it's telling us to go back to that library. But I want to hit the other two gongs we have. Wait, that looks like something too. It's at the same level as the question mark. Um, okay, let's, let's go back to red and then from there I think purple. Oh, the the gong in the top right, I think, tells you not how many you've gotten, but whether you've gotten it in that area. So we've gotten... Um, we've gotten the gray gong. Okay. My memory says this is red. And then... We went from here to, to something. We've got uh, four doors. We can also get places we couldn't before. 
Uh, let's save first. So go up. Um, I like the games where they really... They, they let you uh, write on the map. Oh, headbutt actually hits, hits enemies. All right, let's see what this door goes. Okay, this is sort of bluish. Let's see what the... Oh, we never found the map. Let's explore this then. We couldn't. We couldn't do any of these things. Oops. Shit, there's no. I don't think we can make that. Yes, we can. <laughs> I keep saying that. At this point, uh, I should just assume he can. Maybe a boss? This must be the last area. So two gongs. It's got to be purple and uh, tan. <clears throat> All right, super cool, super cool. So we know where we need to go. After we gong it up. Let's yeah, we don't have a map for this place. Is this where we came from? I think that's where we came from. It all kind of starting to look the same. Okay, so, boom. Okay, this is new. Oh, shit. So, here's, here's what happened. I thought uh, I should use the big jump. The big jump doesn't make the skeleton jump. Only the little jump makes the skeleton jump. I mean, the... Skull. But, uh, good news is we found a save point. And uh, it's very close. Okay, so you drop down and then hit the, uh, the lip. Pretty cool. I really like what this guy or girl, I don't know who made the game. I really like what they did with the, the moves. Uh, you want you want moves to be interesting, you know, and have. I mean, it's like a skill to to use them. And you have to learn about them, and then it's—it's it's why everybody loves rocket jumping. They feel like, you know, it's—it's it's them, it's they. All right, this is purple. So we don't have the mat, but we found the gong because this matches the uh, purple icon, the purple uh, mat.
Oh shit. Things just got real. I can't oh shit, I can't choose to drop. I like to, you know, drop faster. I just saw that the uh that there was no bottom and I thought hmm. Probably would make this a lot easier if I just killed those things. A lot easier. Two hits. I mean, uh, two skulls left. Oh! Totally worth it. There could be one in each area. We've really only encountered that one boss, the frog, which wasn't really was really fantastic. So not too worried about health, but. Hey, anything. anything helps. So I'm gonna backtrack this way and go through whatever door brought us here originally. And it looks like we can go to the right. So let's see what color this. We never found the we never found the map for this. So this could be tan. This feels tan. Before we do that, let's check out what's over here. the map. My goodness. We missed, uh, we got this at the, the worst time. It's called the dead jump. Yeah, but we see that uh, arch in the top. That's, I think, where we need to go with the, after just one more gong, I want to say. Can't charge and block. Dash. All right. So, looking for the map or the room. It looks kind of like a Roman numeral two. Two I beams. So, uh, We don't know how to break blocks like that. So there could be another power up too. Well, here's the map. Emerald mines. I think we should probably head to the question mark. But you see on the bottom left of the map is the room I was talking about, the I beams. So, if we, can, if we can make it through, I'll go there first. It looks like we have to walk a long ways. For both, <clears throat> I think. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I don't know how we would break those, because you can't. We can't, like, dash. Probably that uh, question mark is a power up that lets us do exactly that. And, it, and then we could go down. Yeah. Maybe. Well, we can't go down. So... I'm glad we got that map. <clears throat> this is a big place. 
Yeah, so I'm just going to basically explore. Oh, yeah. We went here. Yeah, that's where we got our first life up, I think. Okay. I've got all sorts of jumping abilities. Flying and dodging. Flying and dodging. And I'm pretty sure we've been here. But I'm just gonna... Gonna mark it off the list. Okay, so let's go up. We haven't been here. The dead jungle holds the ultimate power. Rent the five bones to receive it. Well, that's. I guess it's good that there's a a hint somewhere. Didn't really seem to be too tough of a riddle, but <clears throat> it's good not to be stuck. So, can't, can't open these blocks. Could be multiple powers we're missing. Look at that. I think that just skipped the annoying part, and now we can go this way. To the left. It could be where we came from originally. Is my guess. There we go, so here's new stuff. Um, if there's two paths and one of them's harder, Probably want to go hard. That music is just fantastic. Yeah, see, we wouldn't have been able to get up. Whoa, that was close. From the bottom. down and press X. Oh. Can't, can't stop doing it, I don't think. A lot of forced movement, which kind of like makes it more interesting. a whole lot of height. No up pound. So we go down, 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 and left when we can. I'll just knock this out so that. We need to get back up. Okay. 
So, and oh, interesting. So you, you can't get enough uh, room to dash. So you have to ground that. I love that the, the screens are connected to. Oh. Okay. It looks like a get it moving kind of thing. second. Otherwise nothing happened. So now we need to head back. Um, luckily we're not that far actually. I guess, I guess at this point we're just supposed to go to that uh, shrine. the left. So we'll... Oh, there's actually one. There's one on top, so... Looks like the, the only way is to the left, anyway. No. Oh, okay. Oh, it's still there. Let's grab it. You never know. There's uh, the spikes will hurt you real quick. So yeah, I think we go up and left, and just keep going up. Right? This is where we got the something. The map? Or the, not the map. Maybe that's what the bomb was. That's where we came from after going to like the library and stuff. This is the last uh, 
little bit before this run. I assume there's a boss fight. Get the eye, but uh, okay. we are probably going to die. Now I know what to expect. Um, much better boss than the than the frog. And uh, try to take so many hits. Oh, I can. So uh, there's a glare on my screen. So I couldn't even see it until now, but now I see that there's actually three holes for the eye to come out. Um, I didn't even see it before. That's why I'm sitting up so straight. Last ball. If I could pause it, I'd probably adjust the window down. So I thought there was a pattern. Mother. And, and maybe there it is. <laughs> but it's not what I thought it was. So it's hard to move over there in time. Maybe you could do it if you dashed. In fact, it's probably what he wants you to do. If you dash and jump, you could probably do it. Not. Let's just not take hits. Alright. So now... Sure if we're really hurting. 
Oh, well, I should have. Okay. Oh, see, so to, to heal up, I, I uh, took risk. I really like that. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die. I'm, I'm not sure if we're if we're hurting. I do not know if we're hurting him. He's making a sound, but uh, he just. He's kind of a grumbly person anyway, so don't know. I I guess we are since he started to do the bat thing and then he started to do the laser beam thing. Um, so just be a little bit more conservative. Than And take a hit immediately. Okay, that's I don't I don't know why that works. lucky. I, I, the greedy part of me said, oh, let's try for two hits. Shooting faster. Just gonna, just gonna hang out over here in case he crushes me to death. When grounded, hold down and press X. Kind of looked like a door. Well, this is where we started. I guess. Blast off into space. Mr. Ben Allen. Sounds fantastic. I gotta look that guy up. I oops, it just mentioned his name. I wonder what else he's done. Why 
a skeleton? Why was he on this planet? Why did he need power-ups? Why was there a flower where he landed? What's up with that? I have no clue. But, uh, but that's Super Skelemania. And I liked it for, for 250 or whatever it was. Very, very good game. Uh, so that's it for me today. I will see you all another time.